I'm going to show you how to uh, stamp with acrylic paints. Everybody says that you have to have a certain kind of stamping polish, and I just want to show that you can do it for 50 cent a bottle at Walmart. Um, got to have, you know, a template. I also have some cheap ones, and then I have some that are, you know, a little bit more expensive to show that you could do it on the cheap ones as well as the expensive ones. This is Dollar Store Nail Polish right here. That's on the base coat of the nails. And then this is cheap acrylic paint that you get from Walmart and it's 50 cent a bottle. I have a jelly stamper and then I have a silicone stamper. And I'm gonna show you how to make each one work with all of them. So let's get started. We're gonna do the checkered on top of the green and this is black acrylic paint it also washes off with water on both the template and whatever you put it on as far as to hold to be able to stamp with but just get a you know surface on there and then pull it down um, when you get the excess off you actually can wait a couple of seconds because you have to take the time and if you notice, as it starts to dry, it'll have a film on top of it. Just blow on it a couple of times until you can get a little bit of it to dry. And then very lightly press down and it'll pick up the stamp. This is on the jelly roller. We're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it with the silicone. Again, you don't have to wipe it off right away. You can just put it over it because it's the same color. If you were changing the color, then you could clean it with water. You don't have to use anything else. No alcohol, nothing. It actually works just fine with water. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But you want to make sure that you get an even layer over the top. And you can pull it from the side. Just press down as you scrape. Wait a couple of seconds until you see that film start to dissolve. I'm also going to show you what happens if it actually dries on the stamper before you can stamp the nail. That way you can never really mess up. But like I said, lightly press down, kind of roll it on this one because this is a silicone. And you can see, it's really pretty. Silicone seems to work a lot better um, with stamping with acrylics. But either way, they both work really well. This one I let dry on purpose because I'm going to show you what happens if it dries. Like right now, we're starting to get that film. So I'm going to take it over here to the green one and I'm going to roll it on top of this now. And you can see, it's just really pretty. It's a small stamp. So I need to get a bigger one to be able to obviously cover the entire nail, but you can definitely tell that, you know, you can stamp with acrylics, and it's actually pretty easy. It's a cheaper way of stamping if you're just getting into it, but now with this, this is dried, and um, clear coat is your friend whenever acrylic paint dries. You just take it and put a thin coat over the top right here. And you're actually making a decal out of that. So you're just going to put this over here to the side and let it dry. And go on to your next template. I'm going to show you how to actually clean it up with water. This is what you use your napkin for. You just take it, dip it in. This is regular water, faucet water. You don't have to buy bottled or anything like that. Um, you take this thing first because it's got that color on it and you don't want it on you know your next template but as you can tell it just comes right off with the water like you don't have to use any kind of alcohol or any special you know substance like everybody says that you have to get acetone and stuff like that to take off um any kind of paint or nail polish and stuff like that well with nail polish you do but with acrylic paints it works with water and you just have to make sure that it's dry, but on here, you just take it, 
you got to press down a little bit and kind of, you know, just kind of scrub it a little bit. Or you can take a cotton ball, which makes it a little bit easier, dip it in the water, kind of squeeze it out a little bit because it's going to make a mess. But put it over the top and fill it in and get it where it's all nice and watery. And then you can take this and dry it off. And then if you pick it up, it's a lot easier, but you just kind of have to get all of it out. And if you put it under water, it works a lot easier too. The main thing I was showing you is that acrylic comes off with water. But I'm going to go on with the next one. Uh, the next one we're going to do 